Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Spacing Out. I'm Maureen Ellsbury. And I'm Alejandro Rojas. Thanks for joining us. We're here to get you caught up on the news, so here are some of the UFO stories that have made headlines recently. Witnesses observed a UFO over Melbourne, Australia on the night of Sunday, August 31st. This object hovered in the sky over the southeast Melbourne suburb of Carnegie for more than an hour, according to those who observed the mysterious craft. It flashed multicolored lights, which included red, green, and blue, in different flickering patterns. The UFO was reportedly seen and recorded on video by multiple witnesses. One of these witnesses, Emi Hassan, says he watched the craft hover in the sky for a lengthy two and a half hours. He also describes it was moving around in different directions. It looked like a ball from a distance, but once I went out to film it and zoomed in, I was amazed by it. But according to the Herald Sun, Perry Vlahos from the Astronomical Society of Victoria believes he knows what the unidentified object is. A few weeks ago, I was driving over Carnegie and I saw something hanging in the sky, he explained. If we're referring to the same thing, it's just a gyrocopter that someone is flying and outfitted with LED lights to make it a little more impressive. This gyrocopter identification is further supported by Hassan's own description. It looked like it had a dark square main body with no lights on it, but with around four to six colorful arms. Reminded me of an octopus, he explained. Although the behavior and appearance of this UFO is consistent with a gyrocopter or a quadcopter, Hassan points out many people can think many things. I think that we had visitors. According to the Herald Sun, Melbourne gets an average of one UFO sighting per week. At least 20 witnesses watched several UFOs from the beach on Skyros Island in Greece. One witness caught a few of the objects on video before they sped off at breakneck speed into the distance. Jewish Business News reported on the UFO video posted by YouTube user Disclosure Now Greece. The video was reportedly taken soon after 1 a.m. on Tuesday, August 12th. According to Jewish Business News, the UFOs were seen coming from the eastern part of the island and they disappeared over the horizon in the sea. The description in the video, translated by Google Translate, says that five objects were seen flying parallel in front of the stunned eyes of at least 20 persons who were at a beach bar. They watched the objects for about a minute when suddenly they arrived at a point in the sky and disappeared at breakneck speed in the distance. According to the video, the astonished patrons did not believe their eyes as the objects were within walking distance from the beach, about 500 meters. The witnesses who posted the video says they checked with the port of Skyros the next day and were told that they knew of the sighting. Apparently, port authorities rushed to the area but didn't see anything. They were alerted by other witnesses. The video description also says that the witness attempted to capture all of the objects on video using their phone, but only three could be seen. The third can be barely seen flashing. The video does not show much, but if the witness is to be believed, the light shooting off into the distance must have been quite astonishing. A witness believes he captured video of a downed UFO being transported in the southwest England county of Cornwall. The video uploaded to YouTube on Tuesday, August 12th, shows a large object resembling a flying saucer secured to the trailer of a semi-truck. The unidentified object is not directly visible as it is obscured with a form-fitting cover. The witness recorded the video from a vehicle directly behind the truck and its strange cargo. The only accompanying vehicle appears to be a cautionary safety vehicle displaying attention-grabbing red and yellow stripes, flashing lights, and the warning, abnormal load. The witness agrees that the object being transported is definitely abnormal. He titled his video, WTF is that, UFO? The Huffington Post UK points out that some who have watched the video have suggested that the unidentified object is simply a large reservoir intended to be buried below a petrol station or a septic tank or some kind of turbine. But its true identity at this point is uh, unknown. After responding to a call regarding unusual lights in the sky, police in Lower Paxton Township, Pennsylvania, say they also witnessed a UFO. ABC 27 in Harrisburg reported on a UFO sighting in Lower Paxton Township on the night of Monday, August 25th. Resident Stephanie Wilkerson says she was enjoying a glass of wine when she spotted a strange light. She told the ABC 27, I thought it was a plane until I realized it wasn't moving. I watched it for about 20 minutes and I started noticing it changing colors. She called to her husband to come outside and also called a neighbor. She says her neighbor was amazed and got a pair of binoculars to get a closer look. 
At first, the neighbor thought it was a planet, but he says it changed colors, turning yellow, which made him rule that out. Wilkerson says she then decided it was time to call the cops. An officer arrived and apparently he was also baffled by what he saw, especially after seeing the object move when he looked at it through the binoculars. ABC 27 interviewed Lieutenant Gary Seatbelt of the Lower Paxton Township Police, who said he went there and apparently he saw them too. So he called his sergeant and his corporal to verify what he was seeing. The police called nearby Fort Indian Town Gap Army and National Guard Post and Harrisburg International Airport. Both said they had no aircraft activity in the area at the time. The police wrote up an incident report but were left baffled. Seafelt said our officer saw something that was out of the ordinary for the night sky. ABC 27 reporter Mark Hall asked some of the neighbors if they had also seen the lights. He says one neighbor said her husband saw the thing but thought it was a helicopter. Another neighbor said they saw the same thing Friday night. Hall says for the most part residents are not sure what that thing was they saw. All I know is I'm scared, Wilkerson told Hall. She says, for me to see that, I am now a believer in UFOs. I, you know, looking at this video, a lot of people have come up with random explanations. Someone mm -hmm. even suggested it might be a laser being pointed in the night yeah. sky. Uh, I think that's a little odd for the way the object looks in the video personally. Yeah, there's not a whole lot in the video. Some kind of uh, flashing light, so it's hard to say. But I think what's really cool and rare is the police willing to come out and say, we saw it and we don't know what it was. That's kind of brave mm -hmm. of them to do that. Yeah, I, I like that a lot that she was like, I'm gonna call the cops and the cops actually showed up. I, you know, in a lot of areas, you get a phone call like that, the police are gonna be like, well, you know, send us video or something, T yeah. text us your video, what are you seeing? Yeah. And not actually dispatch an officer. So, yeah. So that was cool that they did that. And it's always good when you get, you know, officials on record uh, saying they saw something strange. In this case, I, I'm guessing it probably wasn't uh, extraterrestrial visitors, but who knows? Yeah, and with the recent news, I think it's even more important that we see some stories with police cooperating mm -hmm. with citizens. Exactly. Well, a former guest of our show recently had his own UFO sighting in California. Jason McClellan has the story. Musician Tom DeLong witnessed multiple UFOs over San Diego on the night of Monday, August 25th. The Blink-182 and Angels and Airwaves rocker is an active UFO researcher with more than 20 years of research under his belt. But as he explained when Maureen and I interviewed him on Spacing Out, up until his recent encounter, his UFO sighting experience was limited to objects extremely high in the sky, visible only with the aid of high-quality night vision and I've goggles. I've seen three. And, and uh, it's taken me six months at one period. The first six months it's taken me, and I haven't seen them since, but I saw three. And so spread out over a period of like four weeks. And I saw it, and w people think, oh, it's a bird, it's a bug. And you see everything. Like, you see everything. It's like lit up like this. When you put those on, it looks like this, but kind of green. So you, you can see distance. It's not like you're, you're blind to depth. And so you look up, you see every, you see 10 times more stars, you see bugs fly by, you see planes, you see satellites. I mean, it's insane. But then you see this little one that's higher than a satellite that starts from, uh, it start from one horizon to the other horizon, zigzagging all the way through the atmosphere in two and a half seconds. Like two and a half, like one 1,000, two 1,000, it's gone. And you're like, what the fuck was that? Because you're watching and counting satellites and seeing little comets come in and out but not something accelerating, changing direction, accelerating again, changing direction, and, and exiting 180 degrees distance. And I saw three of those. So I did. Needless to say, DeLong was thrilled by his recent sighting. He took to social media to share his experience, stating, last night, UFO in San Diego, ha ha, yes. My wife and I followed it for 30 minutes. A fleet of cars were pulled over watching it with us. Some said they were watching it for an hour. It was two sets of lights going in and out and popping up in different locations. Standard shit if you read about this stuff. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, I was there. Does anybody know how happy I am? We sure do, Tom. Congratulations. That's all for this episode of Spacing Out. Remember to visit our website, openminds.tv, for all the latest UFO news. Also, don't forget to register for the 2015 International UFO Congress. It's the largest UFO conference in the world, and it takes place February 18th through the 22nd in Fountain Hills, Arizona. All the events information is at ufocongress.com. If you enjoyed today's show, make sure to click on the like button, leave us your comments, and subscribe to our channel. 
If you like podcasts, you can download our podcast, Open Mind UFO Radio, on iTunes or at openminds.tv forward slash radio. Thanks again for joining us today. I'm Alejandro Rojas. And I'm Marie Nelsbury. We will see you in the future. <laughs>